will have uh, later on along three lines. First, benefits. Second, big challenges. Third, enabling framework. First, on benefits. Uh, cloud computing facilitates information technology support to startup companies which can start their businesses without having to invest uh, large sums on an initial IT infrastructure in, and its management. Uh, sustainability of this infrastructure is also a, a cost that uh, uh, frequently difficult entry in market. Uh, and uh, of course the need of recruiting human resources with adequate uh, competencies is also uh, uh, very difficult sometimes. In this way, cloud computing decreases the barriers to entry for new businesses. So it can contribute to uh, speed up innovation and to enable innovative enterprise in locations where there is insufficient supply of human resources with the necessary qualifications. Of course, provided, and this is a big provided, there is sufficient and reliable broadband. Well, for mature organizations, businesses, NGOs, or government, public universities, hospitals, etc. Uh, the promises of cloud computing are reduction of IT costs and rationalization of certain supporting uh, services by economies of scale, such as reliable security of IT resources and a, a more efficient data center uh, share of costs. Uh, as an analogy, I could say that cloud computing is today for IT what one century ago for electricity was its provision as a an utility instead of requiring a new enterprise that needs electric, electrical supply to build its own power plant and to run it. Uh, so. <coughs> The idea is that they could just plug on the util utility and in this sense you can be provided with services without having to have them run in your own uh, enterprise. That for the benefits. Let me now go to the line on, uh, on big challenges. Here I would like to use the form of uh, posing questions. I leave the questions unanswered because I think they could be picked up in the debate and uh, I think my, my contribution here should remain like that even though I have some answers for the questions I'm posing. The first is uh, there a risk of market dominance by the most powerful IT companies as it has happened, in fact, for other utilities before? Can it be a global dominance? May it further amplify inequalities of wealth distribution in the world? The second question is, does cloud computing offer FIT services as an utility reduce opportunities for innovation as it favors large-scale services with some sort of standardization? Will cloud computing contribute to the generativity of the Internet, which together with the computer uh, was responsible for an incredibly uh, dynamic user-driven innovation in the past 30 years? Or will it actually reduce internet generativity. And the third is what are the effects of cloud computing regarding 
digital divide questions. As cloud computing services require broadband of considerable speed, will we assist to a situation where the main factor of digital divide will become the lack of high-speed broadband infrastructure? What would be the consequences for developing countries <coughs> and other deprived regions? What policies could mitigate the negative effects? Usually, the introduction of powerful communication technology, technologies reinforce the competitive advantages of attraction of precisely the most uh, uh, already strong centers. And the best policy to compensate this is to foster the very same technologies in the more deprived regions. So the question is, what should be the policies to foster broadband infrastructure and cloud computing capacity in developing countries and the uh, most deprived regions? Well, I announced that uh, uh, the third uh, line of thread would be on enabling frameworks. I'll be very short on this because this is the kind of thing that uh, most of the people have already talked about. Uh, uh, like any enabling technology, uh, this one brings uh, new problems. And in this case, with a considerable complexity due to the internet global nature. And some of them require new enabling frameworks like uh, the need of appropriate policy and security legal framework, requirements of data and application portability between different providers and the consumer protection uh, needs in case of bankruptcy or other reasons for the business to, to stop uh, providing services, assurance of confidential, confidentiality and secrecy and the associated needs of encryption, the capacity of control over data by its own owners, including transfer and deletion of uh, data. And finally, the one thing without which none of the above uh, could be assured, efficient, independent auditing systems. Thank you very much.